Hello and welcome to my first speed paint voiceovered video. I am the character creator, otherwise known as Nathan, and today I'm going to be talking about my process of drawing, painting and designing my Kunari Barbarian. As you can probably tell from the fact that it's a Kunari, you can probably guess I'm a fan of the amazing game known as Dragon Age. As you can see on screen now through the magic of editing is an example of what my very first Dragon Age character of a Kunari playthrough looked like and as my very first character I was very proud of him and I decided to take inspiration from Dragon Age to create this barbarian character and I'm pretty happy with how it's turning out so far. At this point in the video, I'm kind of focusing on what colours I want to work with for this character. What will fit the theme I'm going for, uh, do I want it to be kind of more cold and angry and harsh, do I want it to be warm and loving? Uh, as you can probably tell, this is more of a kind of muscly, you know, angry barbarian sort of dude. He's seen some action, he's seen some... He's, as you can tell, he's got some battle damage as well, so I went for kind of more kind of colder col colours um, and went for quite a traditional kind of barbarian kind of armour look where it's just like leather, fur, more leather and a bit of metal studding here and there. In terms of his anatomy, I used a combination of referencing using Pinterest as well as the Bodycon doll which um, I recently brought and I can definitely say it is, if you are considering getting one I highly recommend it. They're so much better than the wooden mannequins that you'd normally get because these these Bodycon models are just so much more versatile. You can get them to hold props so you, they have a lot more kind motion and their joints and they're smaller but they're just so much better. People often ask me, like, what's the best way to improve quickly in drawing characters especially? And 
the fastest way you can learn form, anatomy, and colour, tone, everything, is to draw from life. So if you want to learn to draw the human anatomy, find some references and uh, draw some naked people. Or alternatively, if um, you're part of a college or university, they might have a life drawing class that you can go to and you can um, practice your life drawing skills from there. Or alternatively, you can just focus on, you know, if you want to get better at drawing hands, draw a lot of hands. If you want to draw eyes, draw a lot of eyes. Same with anything that you want to draw. You can draw... If you want to draw trees, practice drawing trees. If you want to draw architecture, practice drawing buildings. And the more you do it, the better you'll get, because it's it, a lot of it is to do with being patient. And if you don't have the patience for it, then you're just going to get frustrated over the fact that you're not improving as quick, and it's just, just not a nice place to be. As well as Dragon Age, I'm a really big fan of Dungeons and Dragons. A lot of my inspiration for um, characters and the classes and the builds and the kind of the whole fi fantasy genre of my character designs usually come from Dungeons and Dragons or D and D, and I get a lot of inspiration from watching other YouTubers tell their stories, like Dingo Doodles or Puff Puffin Forest. They're all very, you know, they just give me a lot of inspiration for ideas that could, you know, turn out to be really kind of cool character designs, or they just inspire me to, you know, try out different classes and things like that. So I don't really draw barbarians too much. This is like the first one I've done for quite some time and I really wanted to make it look like he's gone through hell basically. The uh, story behind him, his name is Cull, the Barbarian, the Kunari Barbarian. Uh, as you can tell from on screen now, he's blind in one eye. He received that by his father who uh, he had to spar with and he lost and he was banished he was banished from his tribe and now he wanders alone through the 
wastes and he just survives. Even though Cull is a barbarian, violence isn't his first thought in a fight. He looks for weaknesses, he's very tactical, he's, he's basically a soldier from his tribe. And this is the thing that sets him apart, he actually thinks ahead, he doesn't run into battle in bloodlust and kill everything that moves. He thinks he is calculating he's not cold but he just has more of a tactical tactical mind to him than the rest of his tribe this is one of those things that kind of set him apart kind of alienated him a lot where he tried to tell his tribe like a better idea to fight prey of some description and you know he would just be completely ignored and they'll go off and charge in and you know, inevitably fail.
right about here, you can see me flipping the canvas. And for anyone who's interested in doing digital art, this is a very good way of kind of spotting little mistakes or little little errors that just don't seem right. It's like when you're painting traditionally, you can you know flip the canvas upside down. That will give your mind a different perspective on how balanced the piece is, whether something looks off, whether it's a bit more weighted on one side than the other. Flipping it digitally is so much easier. It's a sign of key binding and you're done. And it does help a lot. It allows me to kind of sense what needs to be adjusted, uh, whether I can you know, add things to make it look a bit more balanced and you know, things like that.
thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for part two. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in the next one.